Hi guys, welcome to Nine's Corner. We're going to get into a political read. So let's see what's been going on with Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh my God, this lady. I mean, anybody who's going to support the conspiracy theories, I mean, why? Why do people trust her and follow her? I mean, she's gone after kids and everything. I just don't understand. And now she's gone after AOC. So I thought, let's have a look and see how things are going to be for Marjorie Taylor Greene. And then we'll have a look at AOC and see how this is affecting her. World. Strength. Ooh, Six of Swords. Okay, so right off from the get-go, you know, she's looking for success. She wants to ride on Trump's coattails, and she wants to be successful. Um, she wants the world, and she thinks that by taking this negative way of doing it, that she'll get, you know, the accolades. But with the strength card there, that lets me know that, one, she's going to be having some legal issues. Two, things are not happy in the home front at all. I won't be shocked if she ends up um, getting separated or divorced, depending on if she's married or with somebody. Um, this could be a relocation. She could be actually moving. I feel that because of the flow of the cards, she's going to put work over her relationship. She's got to put work over her family. But it's not going to work out for her. She's going to be the one that's trying to push this narrative of strength. But at the end of the day, the future, she'll end up having to walk away. So she will not get over AOC's time. That's for certain. Let's see how AOC is feeling about this whole situation. Is it affecting her? Is she able to not let it get to her like what's the how is she feeling about it what will be her end result when it comes to all this tomfoolery that marjorie taylor green is doing so queen of god the queen of wands so right off the bat that's letting me know that aoc is like you know what I know the way things are supposed to be. I will not accept less than the best of how things are supposed to be. And, you know, if I was talking to AOC, I would say, you know what? Let um, Marjorie take care of herself because that's not a problem that you're going to have to deal with. She's going to end up doing this to herself. So you just need to keep in the positive, keep doing we got the Page of Pentacles. So, you know, she is just going to keep her head down, keep working. There's going to be a sense of, um, you know, she's not going to give up for what she believes is right. And she's um, going to be trying to infuse positivity, money, um, um, like planning to try to make things better for others. She's, she's basically going to ignore what's been going on. And the end result will be, yeah, you know, with the Three of Cups, you're looking at it. It says, hello, take care of yourself. Don't worry about the outside because you'll be successful. It's only when you give people breath and time, you let them take up space in your head when they don't pay the rent there. So she's not going to do that. This is a woman of strong ideals. She may not be everybody's cup of tea because she's so... Um, you know, uh, what's the word for it? Like excitable. Like she's, she's, she's got a, a, a sense of direction and she has like a real pull and people are just so tuned out. They're so tired of politics. They're so tired of being lied to. And then with the media, you've got you know, them telling us both sides of the story rather than just telling us the story. So, you know, I see her staying to her, sticking to her guns. But so I did get two emails from two different people, which I thought was interesting. One was about 
how the vaccinations are going to affect the children. And then the second one was about how vaccinations will affect pregnant women. Now, this is not, um, it is not my place to give anybody med medical advice. The only thing I can say is that, you know, thank God we had vaccinations for all the previous diseases that are no longer, you know, to have a strong hold on us. It's unfortunate that there's so much misinformation, there's so much fear mongering, and that's coming from politics and media and everything else in between. You know, um, a lot of people are talking about um, the effects of it, whereas women take the pill every month and there's a certain amount of risk that you take there. It's all about being realistic and doing what's best for you and your family and what you're comfortable with. So with that being said, let's have a quick look and see how, first let's see how um, COVID, the COVID um, rollout for children, for vaccines for children, how is that going to, how's that going to be? Queen of Swords, so, you know, here it is. This, this is the miscommunication. When you're looking at swords, you're looking at your thoughts and people are really trying to figure it out. They want to make the right decisions. Nobody wants to make the wrong decision for their family, but there's just so much misinformation. It's almost a case of, I think a lot of people are feeling confused, but I think the majority will actually do it because they want their freedoms to come. Um, so people are worried, they're stressed, they don't want to do anything harmful for their children, but I see this as a positive thing. This is a physician. And uh, possibly a physician might come out and say, look, let me tell you the truth of it. We, it's just, it's just so, we're so bombarded with misinformation and conspiracy theories and all that, that it makes it really hard to make proper decisions. It's, it's just hard. Okay, so we got the Wheel of Fortune. This is going to change how children are able to get out. This is going to help them get away from the pandemic. Oh, for sure. Look at this. Don't worry. This is being done for the good of children. You know, I mean, yes. I remember when I first came on, I would, when we talked about the talked about the coronavirus and the fact that it happened in Wuhan in a in a um, in a lab, and I said like a year, or, you know, year plus, however long ago it was now when I first started that yes, it came out of a lab, and that's what makes it scary is the fact that it is man made. But like every other virus. Um, it does become part of your DNA. Like every other virus, you know, that we've had, the work has gone into the vaccinations and it's going to be a blessing. It's not something to be fearful. Once we get over the miscommunication, once we get over the fear, things will turn out to be positive for our kids. So there's nothing to worry about there. Now, will there always be, you know, those cases? Yes. 100%. But you have to look at the overall number in comparison. Now, one child is one too many, but you kind of got to weigh out the risks, right? So let's have a look and see how will this affect pregnant women. How does the vaccine, how does the vaccine affect pregnancy? Is there anything to be worried about? Age of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Okay. How interesting, because with the Page of Swords here, again, misinformation, confusion, and fear. This is really saying, you know, do your research, figure it out. Because I think 
with the Eight of Pentacles, it's not that there's going to be an ill effect on pregnancy per se, but I think there's going to be some research done into it. There's going to be some looking into it because I think there's going to be certain health issues that may be um, made more difficult and that will be for every part of life. But with the Knight of Wands, it's a case of we're going to be ushering in um, a positive time. So there may be a few hiccups here and there, um, but they will come to pass. It will be okay. And the Knight of Wands is, um, you know, when there's a, a major change in a situation. So with the Knight of Wands, this is, you know, feeling self-assured. So no matter what the information comes out, the fear, the stress, what they have to research, what they have to find out about, the things that might come up where they'll be kind of scratching their head saying, Ugh, is this something to be worried about? The end result will be things will be fine. So that's a good thing. For our final question, let's have a look at Donald Trump. Things have been heating up. People are talking. I mean, indictments and, and anger and all kinds of crazy. So let's see. How is Trump feeling? How is he dealing? What's going to be coming up for him? Let's put a three-month um, table on this. Okay, card right up. Boom. Boy, he's going to be trying to backpedal, lie, hide. Oh, covering it is the White House. Oh my goodness, there's so many dark deeds that are going to come out of this that's going to be found out. It'll take some time, and it has taken some time, but you'll see it slowly but surely being brought out to the forefront. Underneath it all, he's trying to hold on to everything. He's trying to hold on to his success. He's trying to hold on to... Um, his reputation to Trump to the to everything but it's it's he's holding on so tight that it's falling <gasps> judgment right on top of him oh he is in big trouble he is going to have to pay the piper he is going to you know with judgment it can be a, a case of you know if you're willing to see the harm that you've done, the way, you know, you can make amends for it. But this is not making amends. This is people judging him. In the past, we've got the lovers. Oh, guarantee this is him, Russia, China. This is the sacrifice that he made to win the election. It was done, if you look at, look at it. He was, he, he was in a, or relationship with Russia, with other countries, with anybody who was willing to give him anything. That's what's going to be foretold. And it's going to be about the White House and his dealings with them. And how he made himself and his family and his friends rich. In the near future, we got the Page of Pentacles. So here we're going to be finding out a lot of information there, he's he's going to be brought to court. This is in, this is the actual legal indictment, the case coming forward. We've got the Ace of Swords. The truth is coming out. The information is coming out. Communications are going to be coming out. People are going to be turning on him left, right, and center. I realize that there's a lot of um, you know information or people that are still supporting Trump to a certain extent because they feel that his negative pattern worked and that's where the Republican Party is. But that's almost like a separate thing because they keep referring to Trump, but it's not Trump. It's a certain sector of just really disgusting people that are using Trump to say, as a shield, to say, hey, I could be racist because of Trump and all this. But the truth is coming out. The magician, these are the others that are around him. They have the goods on him. They know his deeds and they are just putting everything in place. They don't want anything to go wrong. For himself, oh, Queen of Cups. So here he does not want to say anything. He wants to continue to pretend as though everything's okay and that he's on top of it, even though all the problems are right there. 
This is him having to stop himself from saying something about Ivanka. I definitely see that, you know, this could be his relationship uh, within his home is not go going well. Communication with his family is not going well. Uh, communication with Milani is not going well. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to hear about a divorce sooner rather than later. Um, and he's trying to keep things at bay. He's trying to get people to shut up, basically. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to find out about payments, people, things of that nature. The outcome is the Queen of Wands. So interesting that he would get the Queen of Wands because the Queen of Wands is very prideful, very narcissistic, and at the same time so insecure, waiting for somebody to come along and save him, waiting for somebody to help him. The hair fit, the rules, the regulations, the law is covering him. He's in trouble. He is either going to court, going to be going to jail, or he's going to be moving because he's going to have no other choice. He's going to be taking down one of these children with him. Um, he's trying to escape. Ooh, this is either his escape. I think he is seriously trying to figure out his situation. If he really feels like he could go under, he might try to move. He's trying to weigh out these two situations, but he's blind because he doesn't have a clue. This man is really, really that dumb. He really is. But either way, he's going to jail or he's going to be getting out of Dodge. <sighs> Judgment is coming for this man. It's not coming quick enough, but... The law is covering him. He this the next three months, he is just gonna have obstacles and and issues. It's just gonna be constant. A lot of home fight, fighting issues with Melania, the whole nine yards. And if I don't mind, I'm going to say it. I don't think it could have happened to a better person. So that'll be my read for tonight. If there's anything that you would like to read on, political or otherwise, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, I have our unity candle lit for each and every one of us. And until the next time, guys, take care. Cheerio.